been declined since 1492. 500 years and counting. Surviving the genocide they call colonizing my turtle island. What is the fossil fuel? Continued destruction, nothing new. Living the system, taking our children, shipping the fields till nothing's true. I think indigenous struggles are so important. Like what's yeah. happening now in Hawaii, uh, I was listening to it and a guy was saying, it's not about just this telescope. It is, right. it's about their sacred mountain, but it's about their right to exist. Right. Their right to define for themselves what their future is gonna be. Exactly. Their right to exist in their own land yeah. and to defend their sacred sites in the way they see fit. Right. And what I saw at Standing Rock is when we connect to those struggles, to that truth, yeah. Um, it helps us heal from from gang culture and drugs and all these things. And he be, and he got there and he like reconnected not just with his people but with himself. Yeah. And the broader world started getting inspired too. Yeah. So it was healing us. It was healing the outside world. It was starting this domino effect of positive energy. Yeah. And then what happens? Just like they did with in the seventies and sixties. Same thing. They came in and they lied, lied to the public. Yeah so they could justify what they were doing. But really what they were doing is evil, even though they don't oh, see yeah. it. It's evil. Yeah. You think it's just about money or the rule of law. Right. It's not. It's so much deeper than that. Yeah. And uh, they crush something that the world needs. Yeah. Not just we need. Yeah. The whole world needs. Humans. You can't, you can't just lie and somehow think it's going to work out. Right. It's going to lead to self-destruction. Everybody at home, pay attention to what's going on in Hawaii what's going on in Puerto Rico, that these empires that are economic systems of extraction, mm -hmm. unjust extraction. And then you got humanity that's connected to the earth, mm -hmm. standing up for it. That this issue, as we have been saying over and over and over again, is really at the heart of much of our cultural uh, restoration. And it's really, as I say, the fundamental issue here is that we as Hawaiians are reclaiming our humanity. We are saying to the world that we are a people and we have a right to be Hawaiian, in Hawaii, to define for ourselves what our cultural sacred spots should be, how we should uh, use or not use these spots. Oh, I, I get it. I understand. I don't want to be here standing in front, front of you guys. I don't. I truly don't. Really be free. At Standing Rock, we stood up. They pushed us down. They 
because they want their money and they want it now. Same process of colonization that's been destroying every indigenous nation. Your money is made off our destruction. I don't know. What do I have left to give for them? They took everything from we. And what do we have left to give for them? They don't want us happy. They try to take everything and send us back to our little peace. It makes me wonder will we ever be free again? Or will the world destroy itself? What I see between us and the indigenous people is that we all believe in the same thing. We all know that Mother Earth is, in a, is, is not a commodity. Mother Earth is a necessity. Water is a necessity. It's not a commodity. But what happens is we get put into a category where, where they start exploiting our lands, exploiting our waters, exploiting our culture, prostituting our culture. In the hotels down the road, they're selling our hula, selling our, our, our culture for money and in essence, stealing from the people who practice it. We become a historical thing. We become a thing in the past, a history, when actually we're still here living today, breathing today, practicing today, what we've done for thousands and thousands of years. The World Peace and Prayer gathering this weekend with Arvo Looking Horse and, and a lot, a lot of, uh, of our relations from Standing Rock who came over. We all share the same vision of taking care of Mother Earth, taking care of the water, the most important God-given gift to us. I honestly don't think that anyone could possibly ignore this movement. What's going on here on Mauna Kea is far, far bigger than TMT. The Hawaiian people, especially those who are up on the mountain these past days, should be given so much respect and credit for awakening the rights of indigenous people everywhere and when people think about what happens away from the islands we we like to believe that we're setting an example and i think that the hawaiian people have and that is going to be far more important uh, than what happens with the telescope the, the hawaiian people have done something extraordinary aloha aloha is not just a word it's a way of life it that comes from inside your heart. Aloha is not just goodbye and hello, what they taught us in, 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 in the tourist world, what they teach in the tourist world. People come over, all, from all over the world here to our, our Hawaii and all we give them is aloha and love. The world needs to learn how to give back a little love to the people of love, the people of aloha, these islands, moku, our moku ainas here. Tourists keep coming here and keep taking and taking and taking and they keep moving here by the droves and little do they know that when they move here we become, we, we're becoming aliens in our homelands. We can't even afford to live here anymore. Our children are moving away. The law that we've given people is not being reciprocated. They're not giving them back to us. They come in here with their attitudes. They come in here with the take, 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 buy, buy, buy attitude and that puts us in a place of alienation. We cannot survive in our own homelands anymore because of this stealing of our aloha and not giving them back to us. The world has to give back aloha where aloha is given. Mahalo ke akua first of all. Nao ma kua mai kala hiki a kala kau. I call my kupunus and my elders from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. My kahuoku okalani from the zenith where our, our, our star mother comes from to the horizon where the sun sets. Mahalo ke akua. Aloha. And everybody put your hands in the air like this. This is the sacred mountain, Mauna Kea, for the Kanakas, our Hawaiian brothers and sisters. The biggest message that I want to leave for you guys is love and unity. We're at a time right now where we're going to choose which path we take at collectively as human beings. And we need to move forward with love, with unity, and I believe myself with prayer. I love you all. 
Thank you very, very much for listening to us. Shout out to all our indigenous brothers and sisters around the world. We love you. Thank you for struggling to protect what is sacred. Thank you all for being here. We love you.